About eight kidnapped children were united with their parents in Kano by the police. The Commissioner of Police in Kano, CP Ahmed Ilyasu, disclosed that the children, whose age are between two and six, were kidnapped and taken away to Anambra State. It was when this boy in Hotoro was taken away, it was when this young boy was taken away, and with previous report of missing children for five years from five years ago, then I said the battle is drawn, the line of battle is drawn. Immediately, these boys were being taken away in a tricycle. Is this dress you have seen? They changed his dress. Change his dress. He was where he spent two days with the kidnapper. As they are taking him away to convey him down to wherever they traffic and take these children after kidnap, we got the alarm. With the arrest of this, the suspect bring the suspect. The minded, the kidnapping, conspiracy, kidnapping, putting in confinement, trafficking and transporting these children. The Commissioner of Police, Ahmed Ilyasu, further disclosed that, in line with the effort of the Inspector General of Police, Operation Proof Adder, the command had arrested 124 suspects before, during, and after the Independence Day celebration. The suspects were arrested on various crimes, which include armed robbery, kidnapping, car snatching, drug counterfeiting, among others. Within the week, before, during, and after Independence Day, through the veritable vehicular machine that dismantled crime and criminality, that is Operation Pop Ada, via community policing engagement. Items recovered from the suspects include 22 motor vehicles, 15 assorted types of rifles, arms and ammunition, 15 bags of substances suspected to be Indian hemp, among others. This is uh, AK-49. Oh. Okay. No, I will not shoot you. <laughs> You can imagine facing somebody with this, we confronted them. Some of them were had very bitter battles, and some of them were rounded up and were able to recover the arms from them. Commissioner of Police Ahmed Ilyasu reaffirmed that Kano State has no hiding place for criminals. He advised all criminals to repent or vacate the state. From Kano, Khadija Ishak Bawas reporting for Liberty News.